Hi, today I'm going to make sweet and sour beef. I'm adding a little bit of water to the Instant Pot just for the sake of steam. And then I'm going to put the frozen beef in the Instant Pot so it can thaw while I prep, you guessed it, garlic and onions. So I'm going into slow cook and I'll do normal. So by the time, before too long, this will be uh, thawed and be able to carry on into the sweet and sour mode. It's been about a half hour and already the meat is thawed, which is excellent. I, I I like the idea that I can thaw my meat like this. I don't have to know the day before what I'm going to cook. I can just get up in the morning and go, okay, so what do I feel like doing? I didn't have to microwave it, which is really nice. I've done my three cloves of garlic, and I went to the freezer and grabbed my pineapple which I want to thaw, so I'll put them in there and let them go with the garlic. And I have my onion. Celery. Green pepper. Oh my goodness, it's looking like a lot already. That pot's gonna have to work today. And in the meantime, I will then start prepping the sauce mixture that I want to make for this. So back into the Instapot and carry on with the slow cook normal. The sweet and sour sauce calls for three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I'm doing a half a cup of water, of filtered water, of course. A quarter cup of ketchup that's a quarter cup a quarter cup of vinegar and I've got about a eighth of a cup of fresh chopped ginger soy sauce and I just I'm gonna put in probably close to a quarter cup of soy sauce and two tablespoons of cornstarch and I like to let this sit and marinate because of the fresh ginger and let the sauce kind of I marinate while the instapot is cooking the beef and thawing the pineapple this is marinating and there's a good chance that there will be enough cornstarch in there that all the liquid liquid oh you should smell that oh yeah there's a good chance that there's enough cornstarch in there that it'll thicken up as it cooks bring the pot out because it's easier wrong spatula i'm using that spatula for the the uh oh oh goodness that smells so good. The pineapple is thawed. We're, uh, we, we started at a four hour countdown. We're down to 228 minutes, or 200, two hours, 28 minutes. I think what I'm gonna do now is add the sauce. I'm also keeping an eye on uh, potato chips in the the ninja plate. Oh, does that smell good? So I haven't decided if I'm putting this over noodles 
or rice. I haven't decided yet. And I don't know if you noticed, but again, I, I'm using a fair bit of vegetable in the mixture, that the concoction. So as if I don't make vegetables, the meal isn't devoid of vegetables. And back into the Instapot. Oh, you should smell this. It's awesome. I'm now going to put it into saute mode and see if we could get it to thicken up just a little bit more. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of reducing, but it's thickened up quite nicely, and now it's time for the taste test. Okay, Victor, you get to be the guinea pig. Okay. Very good. Good flavor. Mmm, really good. You oh. Some... oh, he didn't put it on his chow mein. He nope, just put I just it had on it his rice. On the rice. It's really Whereas good. me, I got it. I have it I on put everything. It on everything. <laughs> yeah, look at you too. Yep. Yep. I'm going to try the chow mein separately and it's delicious. Oh, well, I guess I was too tired to try and do the chow mein video, mm. so I'll do, have to do it next time, I guess. Mm. So. Uh, the sweet and sour is obviously a do-over because yes. that's an old recipe I've done many, many times. It's definitely a do-over. <laughs> okay, thank you.